not sure if you're gonna be able to hear this with the wind and the rain, but that's all the manure I have left, but I've got another load coming today, which is for the end of the year. And because that's coming, I've got no way to store it. So I'm having to remove the compost out of these five bays and get it up onto the ground. So we're digging there at the moment. Um, I'm going to stick you down and right by here. Bear with me one second. There we are. So you're down there. And we're going to see what this is like coming up. There are still quite a bit of stick and stuff in there as well. But it'll be great as a mulch. But I've got to get it out because in about two hours time I've got another four ton of manure coming and I want to put it in this bed. And all I'm doing with it is sticking it up on a bed up by here for the moment. So that's what I'm going to be up to for the next few hours and uh, I just wanted to give you this quick clip of what I'm up to up today up the plot. Well I'm sweating so we've got that one emptied and the little sticks that were left are uh, chucked back in. We're now starting on this one but look at this stuff guys it's beautiful. Um, that one there is empty as well. And we've just been dumping it in big piles on the garden. We'll spread that out now and this will be its good sort of uh, dusting. I've got a half one year to do and a half one at the end to do. But getting on with this one now and some of this will probably end up in the poly tunnel as well. So this is what we're looking for, some nice homemade compost and as you can see when you squeeze it there's no water so only compost coming out of there but when you break it up it falls apart. That's the perfect uh, moisture content and that's the number one rule with compost, get that moisture right. The second rule, get the carbon to nitrogen ratio right. And you can do that by layering, which we've covered in other videos. And also, um, once you've got that right, it's just a case of making sure you've got air and you get perfect stuff like that. And um, it's easy enough to dig. And you end up then with a wheelbarrow full, just like that, that you can put in the tunnel um, or on any of your beds like we are doing just up there. We are top dressing all our beds and uh, that's what will happen now. And we've got nine of these bins to use. Well, I've had to put a jacket on, as you can see, it's absolutely hammering down, but we finally got this one emptied. It's the last of it there. We'll make a start on this one here now, um, but we've got three empty now where I can put in some manure and it'll hold a fair whack but it won't hold it all so I've got to start now emptying another. It's about half past two now, the delivery's supposed to be between um, quarter to three and half past three so um, we've got to crack on. Right, this one 
Um, as you can see, it hasn't quite broken down well enough yet. So, and this end one was the same. So what I've done is I've taken that out of there. I've put it in here, turned it all, and uh, we'll cover it over and we'll let that rot down a bit more. I don't think I need it at the moment anyway. That's going to give me four bays to fill up now with manure ready for uh, winter. And we'll just have to use those four up there for making compost. By the time it comes to um, sort of having more compost, we can pile that up on the garden as and when we need to, you know, when a space becomes available. And um, we'll make a batch of compost once the manure is out. So that's what we do. As you can see, I'm a bit wet. It absolutely hammered down while I was doing it, but, um, but it's all done. So I've just had a text message to say the manure's on its way. So um, I'll come back to you when that gets you. Well guys, there's the tractor and the tipper and uh, he's off now. He's just dumped this load, which is a fair old amount. So uh, I've now got to be shoveling again. So we've spent all day emptying those four and now we've got to go and fill them up with this and let this rot down. So that's what I'll be doing now. And the next time you see me, it should all be packed within these and hopefully it'll be good to go. Well, because it's staked on me, it's still raining, but that's all moved now. So we've filled two full ones there. We've got a half one there and we filled a full one here. So we cleared just enough space. So now all it means is I got to get the covers on these. Now I'm absolutely drenched and stinking. Tina came up and gave me a hand shoveling some of it. So that's really good. Um, but now this manure can break down over the next sort of few months and in the autumn we'll get it on the ground ready for us to make a, another batch of compost. But um, that's it for this one. I'm going to get this covered up. I'm going to feed and water the birds and then I'm going to get home and have a shower. See you later. <laughs>